for more uh, on this story, we can go across to France 24's Yena Lee standing by in Seoul. Yena, this is the fifth test from Pyongyang in just 10 days. Why is this one so important? Well, at over 4,500 kilometers in range, Seoul and uh, Tokyo say that this is the furthest a North Korean missile has ever uh, traveled. Now, we know that Pyongyang has those intercontinental ballistic missiles that are capable of reaching mainland United States. But in previous tests, they had gone up higher in altitude and landed uh, not so far away. At this time, had Pyongyang chosen a different trajectory, um, that missile on Tuesday morning could have very well reached Guam, which is U.S. Uh, territory. It's also been considered very provocative because it flew over uh, Japan uh, without any prior warning. Uh, people in two different uh, regions woke up to the sound of sirens this Tuesday morning, uh, which was a rare evacuation uh, warning. Uh, Japan, the U.S. Uh, and South Korea have all swiftly condemned uh, that missile, um, describing it as barbaric and, and reckless. Seoul even bombed an uninhabited uh, island this Tuesday in response to show off its uh, capabilities. Now, Last time Pyongyang flew over, uh, flew a missile over Japan was back in 2017 during a flurry of weapons testing um, that uh, culminated in a nuclear uh, test. And a similar pattern has been taking place uh, this year. And Yena, why is Pyongyang doing all of this now? Why all these tests? Well, there's been a climate of, of escalation uh, this year and the political context has changed, it must be said, here in Seoul as well as in, in Washington. The current administrations are far more hawkish than their uh, predecessors and, and South Korea hasn't hesitated to uh, parade its uh, nuclear, uh, not nuclear, its um, machines and its weaponry as well in parades and, and showing that off as well towards uh, North Korea. Now, this year, South Korea and the United States also resumed their joint military exercises. And just last week, Japan even joined in for their uh, first trilateral uh, anti-submarine navy exercises in five years. Uh, an aircraft carrier, the USS Ronald Reagan, even participated in that. The three countries insist that um, these exercises are defensive in nature. But for Pyongyang, uh, what they call war games are a huge uh, provocation as well. Uh, meanwhile, the North Korean regime has tested over 40 missiles just in 2022. That's an unprecedented number. And this has led to analysts and the intelligence community to warn that a seventh nuclear uh, test is uh, on the horizon in the coming weeks. And the scale and the frequency of their uh, weapons testing this year have led some to even suggest that it could happen much sooner. Yena, thank you very much for that. Yena Lee reporting there for us from Seoul.